Peter Andrew is the head biotechnician at Sheffield University in England. He specializes in stem cell research. Because of Britain's liberal laws, Sheffield is at the forefront of scientific work in this field. Hi guys, how are you? Hi Peter. <laughs> so, what I was just, do you want to have a look? Yes, these are the cells which have been uh, growing for the hot floor knockdowns. Cells like these have been the object of research here for years. Stem cells are the basis for developing other types of cells. The most flexible are taken from embryos. This entails destroying the embryo, but specialists say the sacrifice is justified. One of the major reasons people are interested is this ability of the cells to turn into lots of different cell types. So they can turn into, uh, as I said, something like a beta cell, they might be able to turn into different nerve cells that could be used to replace tissues that have been lost through disease or damage. So that's a major use in the future. But it's, you have to remember it's also quite a long way. We need to understand a lot before we can get there. This patient suffering from Alzheimer's disease will not be able to benefit from eventual scientific breakthroughs towards curing serious illnesses, yet society as a whole, yes. With populations aging, healthcare is increasingly expensive. More effective treatment is needed. This is why the EU is ready to contribute to research. Peter Andrew directs a project which receives EU funding. Twenty European institutions are involved. The European Parliament representative for the region of Sheffield is with him, Timothy Kirkhope, keeping up to date about the latest developments. Andrew's field is ethically very sensitive, with differing approaches across the EU. What we would like, ideally, is that we can all use the same cell lines. Uh, the cell lines, as I said, one of the rules is that, at the moment, in Germany, is that you can use cell lines arrived before a certain date, but not after a certain date, which is a very arbitrary decision. Um, in my view, and I think the view of a lot of my colleagues, working with embryos and deriving cell lines from embryos that would anyway be going to be discarded is actually a, almost ethically better than, than simply discarding them for no value whatsoever. The embryos in question are kept cold. They are the product of in vitro fertilization. After a woman has had hormonal treatment, egg cells are removed from her ovaries and inseminated in the laboratory. In the process, more are inseminated than necessary because not all the efforts will be successful. The unused embryos are stored. The parents can choose to give or withhold permission for these to be used for research. Whether this should be allowed or not is the subject of a strong emotional debate in Europe. The word embryo is associated with a human being with arms and legs and everything, not three or four day old cells. Critics argue that freezing embryos violates human rights. Precautions have been taken as to how the EU funding for embryonic stem cell research is given. The bloc's seventh framework program for research and development only began this year. The sixth accorded a total of 20 million euros for 18 stem cell projects, most of the money going to Britain, Belgium and Sweden. Most countries place strict limits on what researchers can do. That only a few may profit from this money bothers the others. It causes dispute in all the political parties. This means a conservative politician such as Timothy Kirkhope, who supports banning abortion on the one hand, is in favour of this sort of medical research. An awful lot of my medical friends um, and others, uh, indeed my own wife who is diabetic, um, have been talking to me about these issues and uh, I have been thinking for some time now that uh, subject, as I say, to very strict regulations and concerns on the ethical front, um, then that this work, uh, th the way in which this work can actually save distress and suffering, the way in which it can actually hopefully in due course produce cures for some of the worst uh, afflictions uh, and diseases that hit society nowadays. The Sheffield project has received 12 million euros.
Germany, Italy and Poland, three of the largest countries which take very little out of the fund, criticize projects like Andrew's. This German Social Democrat MEP addresses ethical aspects in the argument. This is a question of saying that women must not become a commercial instrument for research. To do embryonic stem cell research, a woman's ova are needed. This entails an intervention within her body, and the hormone treatment also implies a risk. These are the reasons why we have come out against financing this kind of research, since, in our view, it is taking us in a direction which is unacceptable. But while Europe argues, Asia advances in this kind of research. Singapore, China and Japan's governments encourage work on stem cells with the equivalent of hundreds of millions of euros. Three out of four of the researchers come from Europe and the US. This is another reason why the EU decided to do more. This is the argument that says we should do what others do. There are children working in India, but we are not going to start child labor here to make production less expensive. We support a community of values based on ethical values, which is the European Union. The other argument to me is not valid. Europe competing with Asia in this domain is not the way Kirkhope wants to go. I think, in a way, we shouldn't be talking here too much about a competitive situation. Yes, of course, we're all trying very hard to find the cures for some of these terrible diseases and, indeed, to learn more through our research um, about things which can help um, in the general health sphere. Um, but I don't think we should be looking to sort of like a race against Asia in order to win. I mean, I think we need to uh, learn from each other about this. Um, I hope that is what we will do. A majority in the European Parliament voted in support of embryonic stem cell research. The European Commission reiterated that other medical biotech projects would be given funding priority. An ethical consultative committee is to participate in deciding how stem cell research funds are allocated.